How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be talking about useful expressions in the text tab and the time tab. We won't be going over these super in depth so if you have any questions please feel free to throw them in the comments below. But with that we're going to jump in on the text tab. Now first I'd like to talk about the expression I think I use most frequently in this tab and that's the concatenate expression. This expression is incredibly useful to combine multiple text values into just one. For instance, if you have a first name column and a last name column, you can create a virtual column called full name that will combine your first name and your last name. And AppSheet will actually do this for you most of the time if you already have those columns. It's incredibly useful and I use it in so many circumstances. Next, you've got your length expression or LEN that helps you return the number of characters in your text value. This has a handful of useful uses itself. Next, for individual expressions, we've got the split expression. This can be used to take a text value and convert it into a list so that you can use other list expressions on it. Now you need to make sure you have a delimiter like a series of commas for instance for this to be able to work. But if you do, it is very useful. Next we've got the trim expression that can remove white space and the te text expression that can convert other data types to text values. Next we have a group of expressions. This group is going to allow you to get subsections of your text. For instance, if you want a certain number of characters on the left side of the string, um, excuse me, on the left side of the text, you would use the left expression. Similarly, you have the same thing for the right side and if we scroll down a little bit, we see that we have the same thing for the middle of your text value. You can use this in conjunction with the find expression if you're not sure how far into your text you need to go. For instance, if you need to go to an at sign in an email, you can use the find expression to find out where in your text value the at symbol appears and then use the left value to return everything before it. Next we have a few expressions that will allow you to manipulate your text. The two I use most frequently would be the upper to allow you to change all of your um, characters in your text value to uppercase values or lower to do the opposite, convert them all to lowercase. You have the initials expression that can take a name and return just the first values of those names and substitute which can substitute specific text pieces of your text with other specific characters. For instance, if you need to replace all semicolons with commas, you would use the substitute expression. Next, we'll be talking about the time tab. Now, the time tab is unique in that it has four unique data types inside of one tab. Now, they're all kind of similar and connected, but it is important to recognize that they are all unique. You've got your time type, your date time, your date, and your duration. These are all useful in different circumstances. For instance, if you want the current date and current time when a user finishes or accesses a form, you would use the now expression. If you want just the current date, you would use the today expression. If you want just the current time, you would use the time expression. And if you needed to control for time zones, you would use UTC now which would help make sure that all of the time zones um, are the same and you don't have to worry about which time zones your users are in. Next, we've got a lot of arithmetic that you can do on dates, times, and durations. You can add dates or durations, excuse me, you can add days in the form of numbers um, or durations to dates to increase it by a certain amount. You can subtract two dates to find the duration between them. You can do all sorts of things by just using addition and subtraction with dates, times, date times, or durations. Next, we have a series of expressions that allow you to extract values from your date, time, your time, or your duration. You can extract the hour, minute, or second 
from your uh, durations or your times, you can extract the day, the month, or the year, as well as the weekday, the week number in relation to the month you're in, or the um, end of month of a specific month. That can be useful, surprisingly useful in a handful of situations, um, as well as the workday. And then finally, you've got your conversion expressions that allow you to convert your dates, uh, excuse me, convert values to dates, to times, or to date times. Now, we did go over these very quickly. If you have any questions about specifics for this tab or the text tab, please feel free to throw them in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the, this video, and I hope you have a great day. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.